Welcome to a wet and windy Dorset. Today I've dragged a friend down from London and we're going to be exploring a little bit of the Dorset countryside and also the uh, some of the Wiltshire countryside as well, just on the border with Dorset. So we've got a couple of locations we're going to. We've come first down for sunrise to Knowlton Church and there's kind of a sunrise, it's not really happening. It's wet, windy and cold at the moment and where the camera is, over there I can see the sun coming up. So uh, as the wind blows the gimbal about, try and hold it steady. But um, I'll try and get what I can here. There's not really a lot that I can do with this place anymore. I've been here a few times and I just came down here just to see if I could get a decent sunrise. I got a, a sunrise here about eight years ago, which I was kind of pleased with, but I'd really like to reprocess it at some point. But uh, in any case, this is this is Knowlton Church. And if you are, if you're superstitious and you like things all ghosts and spectres, apparently this is the most haunted place in the county of Dorset, Knowlton Church. The key, the absolute key to landscape photography is getting out there and experiencing it. And instead of sitting in front of your screen and just watching somebody like myself create these videos, the only way people will ever learn is actually getting out there. So although I could stand here and tell you all of my camera settings, so I'm on f11, I've got a, an exposure of around a second or so, it's not going to translate for you if you were to come here yourselves. You really need to get out here. People are not getting out enough that we're spending too much time in front of our screens just watching other people. Really get out there and experience what it is that the landscape can do for you. Just get out in the cold, in the hot, or wherever you are in the world that you're watching this, get out there with your camera and start creating your own images. Me, this is somewhere I know I've been to before and I've got a few images from here as I've said before. Not always happy with them but you know I don't live in the United Kingdom anymore. As a travel photographer I have to take what it is that I'm given on the day that I'm there. Today it's windy, it was raining, it's not raining anymore. But for those of you that are interested that you're not going to get out there I have a Canon 5D Mark IV there on the front of my camera. If I come round and don't fall off the earthwork, there's my 24mm tilt shift and also hidden just uh, at the back of the camera is the 1.4 extender. I did do a photo at 17mm showing all of this earthwork that's round here, but it just doesn't work. It's too wide. So I've gone in, it's about 35mm that I'm shooting this and the sun is now going to come up and hopefully I'll get a very, very nice side lip image of this church with a nice coloured sky up there. It's going to look, hopefully, really nice. I'm going to get my photo, may even send up my drone if it, uh, the wind calms down. We'll see. But in any case, said this is Knowlton Church, the most haunted place in Dorset. And there's more to come. Keep watching. I've brought my friend down to a place called Windgreen, which is on the Wiltshire Dorset border. And as you can see with the scene behind, it's actually, it is quite nice, the, the actual location itself. The light is just not here. It is not, the, the sun is being covered at the moment by a lot of cloud that's being blown in by this uh, very, very gusty northerly wind that's uh, battering us right now. And this for me is a prime example where I, I come to a location, I just think, is it really worth getting my camera out and right now it is definitely not not worth getting my camera out it's just for me i just needed to show my friend where this place was just to to show him a couple of different spots around Wiltshire and Dorset but uh, if the weather changes i'll get a picture but it, but if not this is this is what you actually have to put up with when you are a travel a working travel photographer whereby you're going somewhere and you really hope that the weather forecast is going to do what it says it's going to do so it said the wind was going to die down it's actually got worse since we've been out this morning and the cloud cover is getting a lot heavier too we're supposed to be going down to the coastline of dorset will we actually get anything don't know but uh, certainly i'll keep filming and taking photos where i can but at the moment the, the day is looking pretty dismal at the moment that's landscape photography in the winter in the uk as you can hear, the wind is still relenting. We've come down to the Dorset coastline. We're up above Chessel Beach. I brought my friend uh, to a viewpoint that overlooks Chessel Beach. So when you, if you're driving down to Portland Bill from Weymouth, 
when you come up the hill there's a, a roundabout just turn left and you've got the viewpoint that's behind me the wind is making it very very difficult to get anything I've taken my camera off the tripod just because I don't want to be vlogging and it ends up over there because the wind is very very strong and the waves coming in off the English Channel right now are, uh, look pretty interesting so we're gonna head off down to Portland Bill to go and get some lunch but we're also going to see what the waves are like over Portland Bill itself the lighthouse and also pulpit rock and just see if they're worth photographing or whether it's maybe too dangerous to get anything we shall see but uh, in any case enjoy the view from up here looking down to Chesil Beach and also the light at the moment is looking really nice I might actually get my camera back out and instead of doing the classic shot that I've done and I'll flick up in a moment I might do a wide angle shot showing more of Portland itself and the fleet so here we go this is Portland Bill down the Dorset coastline in a very very windy day windy Sunday It's the end of the day here in Dorset and uh, we've come to a place called St Catherine's Chapel which is on the coast. Uh, behind me you may be able to see what is Chesil Beach, that very very long bank of sand there. So that's Weymouth over there, Portland Bill, if you're not familiar with this area on the end of the, the, the strip of land there is the Portland Bill Lighthouse, the famous red and white striped lighthouse that you will see in so many pictures of Dorset. If you go the other direction from here and you carry on you get to a place called Burton, Bradstock and then West Bay, made famous in the TV series Broadchurch. But here I've come up to a slightly more elevated position to get a shot of St Catherine's Chapel which is sat down there on the top of the hill. Now just over to my left hand shoulder there is a place where you can park the car. Now it's very easy if you really want to to park your car, get out the car, take about three steps and you've got your photo. However, I wanted to just come up this hill. There is a public footpath up here just to see if I could get a different angle and I do get a different and I think a pretty much better angle on St Catherine's Chapel than you get from the roadside so it's still pretty gusty as you may or may not hear it's the wind is coming and going it's certainly died down a lot from when we were on top of Portland Bill down there but uh, it's still a bit gusty up here at the end of the day we are going to stay here until sunset my friend hasn't come up with me he's got a problem with his ankle so he stayed down by the car but uh, I'm up here just exploring this little this hill that overlooks the, the, uh, the Dorset coastline, English Channel down there. So I'll just show you what I'm up to and explain why I've come up here, why I think it's more of an advantage so that those of you that, are, that struggle with composition get an understanding of why I come up here and why it is that I'm doing what I'm doing. So this is the view that was behind me. This is St Catherine's Chapel which is there on the, the top of the hill there. There is Chesil Beach swinging around that long line of sand. We could see very big waves breaking over there earlier on. It still looks as if they are from up here. On the end of the strip of land down there, that's Portland Bill on the end, the Portland Bill Lighthouse. And Weymouth is just over there. And as I said, that way is West Bay and Burton Bradstock, famous for the TV series Broadchurch. So in any case, it says I have my long lens and I need my long lens because if I have a wide angle lens, everything's going to get lost. Yes, I could have the foreground that's down here, this gorse, the, the weather beaten tree, but then the chapel will be lost. I need that chapel in the context of my image. I want it pulled in with a long lens. So if I look on the back of my camera and explain why I've done that, if my live view will turn on. So why I've come up with this particular elevation is this land down here that's on the back of my camera. You probably can't really see. I might have to pull this up when I actually do the video. I needed the chapel more separated from when you're down on the road and the road is going down here in the valley. So by coming up the hill, by coming up the public footpath, I'm able to elevate the chapel up above the, the strip of land that's down by the roadside. I've then placed it off the centre of the, I've placed it off centre but not on the rule of thirds. That's deliberate because if I push the camera over too much, there's too much nonsense for me around here. I don't really want that. The image is then being bisected by Chesil Peach going up this way, diagonal. Diagonals are very strong in composition. If you notice, uh, if you start looking very closely at a lot, lot of successful images, you'll see diagonals can be very, very strong. In the top, there's nothing really much going on in the sky, which is frustrating because when we were back at, uh, at Portland, doing uh, the other side of Chesil Beach, you could actually see uh, a lot more cloud on the horizon. It's all blown away by this wind. 
But what can you do? That is unfortunately the weather that we've been given today. But at the moment we have some very nice side light that's coming along. If I didn't mention it, my polarizer's on the front. If I just turn my polarizer, you'll see why that I've actually chose to put it on. If I undo that, you'll see how much haze disappears with that polarizer. It brings in some really nice saturation there down on the field that's down here and all the other fields that's back down here. There's also lots of lines going in and zigzagging in all the hedges and stuff and the road. So that's making up my composition here off St. Catherine's Chapel on, on the end of the Dorset coastline. So that's it for this week's vlog in Dorset and a little bit of Wiltshire. Where am I going next? Well, in January I should be up in Scotland. I'm running a workshop up there in January and then the rest of the year there's all sorts of things coming up in 2019. So will this be the last vlog of 2018? I don't know yet. I have no idea what's going to happen. In any case, hopefully you've enjoyed what it is you've seen. If you've got any questions or any comments, please do comment in the comment section below. I always do respond when I can, not always quickly. It depends what it is that I'm up to. But in any case, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much to all my old subscribers and of course any new subscribers that are coming along after seeing this. See you on the next vlog. Thanks so much. Take care and see you again soon.